I don't know what we're gonna do for a special. Seems different today. I feel different. I don't know why. Something feels feels a little different today. I got some. Look at the stuff. Isn't it neat? neat? Isn't my thing all the complete? I don't know. Something just feels different. I got a little water Ariel. on my legs. Ariel, what are you doing? Daddy, I love him. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Did you know this is called a dingle hopper? It's this is right here. It's a dingle hopper. <laughs> hey, we'll be right back. Morning, welcome to Wake Up. Where we wake up. Up. I'm Pastor Scott. I'm Ariel. <laughs> I'm Zeus. <laughs> I'm the crab, though. I want to be the crab. Oh, you are Sebastian. I like. I just like getting you singing on the show. That's my favorite thing. Kiss the girl. And my wife hates it. She literally last week she she screamed <laughs> from the bedroom. She's like, "Don't you ever do that again." And I'm like, "La She's just afraid. In. I I want to be a singer. You do. I can't sing, but I would give anything to sing. You're gonna miss the girl. I would, I would give my voice. <laughs> I would. would. I would give it all to sing. my voice. If I could sing. Oh, he just jumped right in. I can't even give my voice out. He just, he's gonna, want, what, he's going follow? to sing with me. I am. And I have to quit singing when I hear him sing. <laughs> okay, this is, this is, we have a scripture. We have a scripture. Today. We're talking about your message. For, it's Friday. It's Friday! Yay, Friday! Well, it's, it's not just Friday. Every day's a Friday. It feels like a great Friday. It's not, it's not a great Friday. How about a wonderful Friday? It's not a wonderful Friday. God, it just feels like an amazing Friday. It's a good Friday. It is a good Friday. So a good, but God said, let, the, let, let there be light, and then he saw the light, and it was good. It was so when good. God talks about good, today is a good Friday. So happy, to, happy Good Friday. Yeah, we got a great service tonight here in Mesa. Yeah, don't work. miss it. Uh, and but, this weekend is epic. Yeah, Resurrection Sunday. Make sure you bring a friend. And to bring a soul. One of the greatest gifts you can give the Lord is a soul. Bring one soul. Yeah. But uh, this last week you were, you were sharing and uh, you started off your message uh, talking about how our praise and worship goes before us. Yes. And, uh, and, you, and you got into faith without works is dead. But I want to come back and visit that, that our praise and worship goes I before us. I love that. Us. I found that, that story with the lepers. Yeah. It was, it was cool. They like shouted out at me. The, the, the story was, as, as he told it, was that uh, a group of lepers that Jesus said, go and be cleansed. And one of them, as they went, they realized they were cleansed. One of them came running back and said, pray, gave glory to God mm -hmm. and praised, right? And was thankful. Yep. And, and so Jesus said, then looked at them and said, go, your faith has made you whole. Weird. Why so, is it two different words? So whole is different than cleansed. And that cleansed was that, like he was healed of leprosy. But whole was like a lot of other broken things got restored. Like if you're a leper, you'd been rejected your whole, for, since you had leprosy. No one was allowed to touch you. You, had, you couldn't go in the temple. You had to stay outside of the town. There was a lot of like... And pe people deal with that in their lives today is that they've gone through rejection. They've been the outcast. That, that people made fun of them because oh, of this Oh, just because you have a tail. All of a sudden, I'm the weirdo. Okay, but you are the weirdo in this case <laughs> because you have a tail. Well, see, once and, and again, pink. we go through rejection. Mer people. Oh, now this is, <laughs> this is how mer people deal with life. <laughs> right? We're rejected. Oh, so now I'm the mermist. <laughs> You're a mermist. <laughs> I've never heard of a mermist. <laughs> so, we just we we like we think mer people are good people. You have mer friends. You I have mer have, friends. So my best friends are mer people. <laughs> I don't know where you know. No, my, my, my point is, is that there are people who have been outcast and rejected and yeah. just like this leper. And, and so there's more than just a little bit of healing. There's some heart healing that needs to take place, right? There's some, I need some love. But the praise and worship is what activated. He comes back and worships. None of the others who got cleansed came back and got made whole. No. And there was something about that rejoicing and that thankfulness that, that elevated what happened to him, that magnified what God had done took in his, his life. Yeah, ma and magnify is a great word because it, it took his miracle to the next level. It did. And I think that God gives us little miracles all throughout the day, but I wonder how many of us take time to go, thank you, God. Wow, that's amazing. You're yeah. such a good God. You're an amazing God. And, and, and I talked about the heart of David. If you read, da I mean, David is just an incredible heart after God. Man, everything you hear him, he's always happy about God. 
Yeah. No matter what's going on in his life, he's like, God's a good God. Yeah. I love God. Or sometimes I'll praise him all the time. I will say this. Sometimes the song started out pretty dark. Yeah. But by the end of the song, it Always was okay. It was just yeah. like, my life, I'm just a pot shirt or something. I've fallen down and there's ashes yeah. and my enemy has been risen up. And the, but then by the time he gets to the end of the song, it's not that far. He's like, but my God <laughs> is able. And, I'm, and he kind of stirred himself back up. And I actually want to talk about that kind of thing right now. In it says in Jeremiah chapter 31 and verse 6, that's our scripture for today. It says this, Yes, a time is coming when watchmen will call out on the mountains of Ephraim. Now, a watchman was the guy waiting to see if there's a war coming or waiting to see if there's an attack coming. I got one at my house. And so it says that they'll call out on the mountains of Ephraim, Come, let us go to Zion, which was a different mountain, uh -huh. right? They're at the mountain. They're going to a different mountain. The mountain of Zion is the church of today. That's, that's oh, okay. the church that we're in and, and our gathering place when we come. It's the church that Jesus built. And so he says, come, let us go to Zion to worship the Lord our God. Now, this time in Jeremiah is actually a bad time in, in prophecy in terms of Israel and mm -hmm. stuff. And they, they were going through some tough things. And so we've got to kind of continue on and, and read. Where, where's this going? Verse 7. And, and it says, moreover, the Lord says, sing for joy for the descendants of Jacob. Utter glad shouts for that, for that foremost of the nations. Make your praises heard. Right? Yeah. Be loud about it. Yeah. And then say, Lord, rescue your people. So you praise. And then. Then. So, so you, you, go, you get the idea that, uh-oh, the people were in a bad spot. Yeah. But you're going to praise anyways. Praise. And then say, hey, oh, hey, oh, by the way, need some help. Lord, rescue your people. The watchmen were the guys who were physically guarding uh -huh. the nation. And they're like, you know what? Let's just go praise God. Let's go to church. Somebody we just go to a church, right? It, and maybe you're out there doing your thing and you're looking at defeat and you're looking at uh, 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 rejection. You're looking at uh, all the things that could be going wrong. You're looking at a storm. You're staring at a mountain, an obstacle, and you could be like, you know, down about it. You could be mad. You could be like, oh, there's a problem. You could see the enemy Another approaching. Another problem, everything. But, but the watchman said, hey, let's go to church and sing some cool songs and then ask God for help. <laughs> that's you know what? Maybe the army that's coming at us is too big anyways. It doesn't matter that we know they're coming. <laughs> like, it's too much. There's like but they're not too us, much. And there's like a gajillion of them. Why don't we go to not church? Not too much for God. Let's go to church and let's sing some songs and let's get our heads in the right place. And then let's say, hey, God, why don't you save us? And I think it, what it does is it reminds you that you serve a God that is very, very, very big. What happened with the Israelites is they saw the giants... And what they needed to do is see God. See, we get our mind off of it on the problem. And what happens is if I begin to praise and I worship and I get in God's house and you come in there, and you know how it feels. You get in God's house and you're just five minutes into worship and all of a sudden you're like, okay, God's got it's this. It's so true. Oh, wow. Okay. And you know, doesn't the enemy work hard to keep you out of that worship service? Why wouldn't he? He keeps you Why out. wouldn't he? If he because could just he can delay keep you, out of your you five minutes land. in the morning, he can just get you, uh, the, the, you know, the kid didn't get his shoes on in time or whatever. You were up late late last, the night before. We, so we get a little sleep. bit late for church. Why well, I want to get in and get the word. And that's great. We, I, I'm, I'm nothing but thankful for people uh, that yeah. come to God's house. I don't care what time you, you walk in the last minute. I don't care. But isn't it interesting how Satan tries to steal that worship time from you? Yeah, yeah. He needles a little bit at a time. Oh, I got to get gas in the car. And before you know it, yep. you've missed out on those that moment that you just yeah. talked about where you're singing songs and suddenly, boom, it pops off of you. You're like, oh my gosh. You're God, like, oh, this is what I needed. You literally go, I, I do. I find myself going, oh, God's got this. I forgot, I forgot about that. I forgot that the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end, my God, the Savior, has got things in His hands. That's right. And you go, okay, this is cool. And you're like, God, oh. you're awesome. And now I can settle down. I listen to the Word. I leave church. And I've got, I've, I'm like, I'm ready for the day. I'm ready for the week. I'm ready to go forth and do some great things. Yeah, yeah. We exactly. need to pray over their day. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we ask that you just, Lord, we come to you right now. We say thank you. We praise you because you're a great God. You're a good God. You're a delivering God. You're an overcoming God. You're a blessed, blessing us type of God, Lord. We thank and praise you, Lord. And now we ask, Lord, that you just bless our day. You go before us, Lord. You make a way even when there is no way. You're the great way maker, Lord, that you fill us with your peace. You fill us with your joy. And you fill us right now with your drive so we can go forth and make a difference. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. Well, I hope you enjoyed today. Thumbs up. Give us a tails up. One <laughs> tails up. Share this. Maybe not share this episode, but like go back and find another <laughs> one where my brother's not dressed up like a mermaid and share that one. <laughs> share that one. Subscribe to With the Easter. show. Easter. Oh, we, come on. We got Good Friday come tonight. On. 
uh, we got the Good Friday service tonight at 6.30. Tonight, and then we got service Saturday night, yep. and then we got service all day Sunday, all our locations. And, and for those of you who live out of town, we know we have a lot of people that live out of town or across the Some city. Some of you live in like in, in, in lakes and stuff. Or people in Pittsburgh, or people all over the place. Maybe that you're in, us. in the ocean, you live in the ocean. You go find your local church and go be there and bring some lost people into that church too. Be blessed. Have a great weekend. If you don't work your faith, your faith is dead, so it will not work. And so I've got to do some things in my life. You can't just come up and pray for a great marriage. And your wife's like, I don't know why. I mean, he's never around, never pays attention, but I just love him so much, right? You know, right? That doesn't work because I can pray for a good marriage, but add to that my, my works where I begin to learn and grow in marriage seminars and I begin to meet her needs and spend time. Yeah, some of our ladies out there, you're like, amen, Braster. Amen. You've got to add some works to your faith and God will begin to do some stuff through me in the marriage and I end up with a great marriage with your kids. You can't just pray my kids are going to be good, but you've got to learn how to be a great parent. And then you've got to apply great parenting to your kids. And as I apply, and then of course you pray. i got teenagers. How many people know? You pray a lot. <laughs> You're always praying. Prayer with my faith, with my works, is raising up some incredible kids in my life. And the same thing for you.